everyone, Emily here. Today I'm going to share with you how to make my farmhouse signs. You guys have been asking, so here it is. It's super simple. All you're going to want is a piece of wood, a canvas, you name it. You can use plywood, cut it down to the size that you would want and paint it the color first. And then if you're going to be wanting a frame, I'm using a one by two and just cut that down and stain it um, to your color of choice. Really simple. And then you're going to want nails and I'm using an inch and a half to inch and a quarter. And if you don't have a nail gun, that's fine. I will show you how to do it both ways. Um, that way, you know, we're covered and you're going to want to hook for the back. That way you can hang it. You're going to want a hammer. And then as far as printing out your words, I just use Word on my computer. Print out what I would like and then I just use a hard pen to trace on the letters. I'm basically just um, tracing over whatever I printed out. And the way I use it to transfer it is using this transfer paper of Cyril. And um, I just got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can find it. But it gives off this white chalky finish, which is perfect. And if you have a light surface, then you're going to want to use carbon paper. And that will give off a black um, surface. The only thing left is a small paintbrush. And then I just use a paper plate. And then I use acrylic paint. But you can use whatever type of paint you would like. I start by taking my ruler and measuring the top and the bottom and each side making sure it is centered the way I want. If you do cut out your words then it will take you a little bit more time making sure everything is even but it's something that you want to do because you're going to be staring at the sign. And then I just tape it down once I have it uh, where I want it. Then I take the transfer paper, put it underneath, and then take my ballpoint pen. It doesn't have to be a working pen, it's totally fine, and then start tracing over the letters. That way I know exactly where I need to be painting. So you see how that shows up. It's really easy and just continue doing that throughout the whole, um, all your words. It's really simple. And then once you have that, then just start taking your paint and filling in between those lines. This part I find enjoyable. Put on a movie or something and relax while you paint. I don't mind it whatsoever. They do make paint pens that you can use, which makes it a little bit faster depending on if you're using um, smaller words and things like that. But I like regular paint. I just find that it works a little bit better. The paint pens work really good on a canvas, so just keep that in mind. And they have a variety of colors, but it's just cheaper to do it this way. Um, and I enjoy it. Next, you're going to take your sign, and I like to just basically cut down the pieces of boards that we had from the beginning, and I line them up, make sure they're level. And I wanted mine to stick out on the front versus the back. And then once you have that, just start nailing it down. I got a nail gun for Mother's Day, so I was using that. And then I just make sure the edges are flush. If you don't have a nail gun, it's okay. You're going to use your nails that I showed you before. And I like to hammer them halfway through. It just makes it easier for hammering them around the sign. So this sign in particular, I didn't have my nail gun when I made this sign for my son's room. So it's really easy. You're just going to continue that process and uh, nail it all together. You could use glue in between if you wanted to, but I don't find that it's necessary. And it's pretty simple and explanatory. You're good to go once you have it all there. And then all you have to do is put a hook on the back. And I like to just uh, take the full measurement and then find the middle and a screw on my hook and you are done. And it's really simple. You can put a finish coat on them. That way if you plan on dusting or if they're gonna be outside, but that is how I make them. I hope you found this sign tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you again for watching. Bye.